When playing through Terraria, the player is given a ton of different survivability methods to choose from. Do you focus on pure defense and become a tank, max out your mobility to avoid attacks, or become almost untouchable by stacking dodge chance? Today, we're going to be looking at another direction you can build your character in, max health regeneration. Off the bat, health regeneration in Terraria works in a rather complex way and is affected positively and negatively by a plethora of items and mechanics. With the right setup, you can become incredibly tanky, which gives you the ability to stand completely still when fighting certain bosses. Let me show you exactly what items you need to achieve this. Starting off, you're going to want the Crimson Armor Set, which can be crafted with 60 Crimtain Bars and 45 Tissue Samples. Taking out a few Brain of Cthulhu's should get you them quick. It's worth noting that the previous best option was the Choir Helm, Valhalla Breastplate and Solar Leggings, but unfortunately these were seriously nerfed in the 1.4 update, putting Crimson Armor on top. Once you've crafted your armor, you're going to want to head underground to try and get your hands on two bands of regeneration. Assuming you're going for this setup late game, you may already have some lying around, but if not, they are pretty easy to find in underground cabins. One of these you'll want to equip while the other you'll want to combine with the Philosopher's Stone, which has a 14.29% chance of dropping from Mimics found in the Underground. With this, you'll be able to craft the Charm of Myths at a Tinker's Workshop, essentially doubling up your Band of Regen. With this, your regen rate is already pretty good, but nothing even close to what it can become. The next item is quite a special one, the Shiny Stone. The Shiny Stone is an Expert Mode Golem accessory that significantly increases life regen when the player is not moving or using any tools or weapons. At its best, this thing can give you a whopping 40 health per second alone. With this equipped along with the armor and bands of regen, our regen rate is starting to come rather impressive. But we can take it even further with the Celestial Shell. Now this is easily the most complex item in the setup, but is well worth it if you want the best results. You'll need to get your hands on a Moon Charm which is dropped from Werewolves, and a Neptune Shell from Creatures of the Deep. With these combined into the Moon Shell, you'll also need a Moon Stone from Vampires, and a Sun Stone which is another Golem drop. Combining this into the Celestial Stone will allow you to finally craft the Celestial Shell. Got there in the end. This includes the many benefits of all these accessories. For the fullest effect, you'll want to make sure it's nighttime, as the werewolf form gives you an additional 0.5 HP per second. With this, our character is done, but there's still a bunch of items we can use to further increase the rate. The most obvious ones being a campfire and a heart lantern. The player also gains an additional 10 HP per second when resting. This works on any couch, bed, or chair. Also, don't forget to place some honey nearby, so you can also benefit from its temporary life regen buff. Last but not least, for absolute maximum regen, you'll want a life force potion and a regeneration potion, along with any major improvement food. And so here we are. From my testing, this is the technical highest base regen a player can achieve in Terraria 1.4.3. As you can see, despite the high damage we're taking, we are very quickly able to get back up to full. However, this doesn't last long as despite the speed of the regen, we just can't keep up with the more powerful enemies like the Ice Queen. She simply deals more damage per second than we can gain back. And this is the reality when it comes to this setup. Although it is extremely satisfying to see your health refill so rapidly, and on normal mode it can make you effectively invincible, expert mode onwards it's just not a viable strategy. You're way better off building a dodge setup as you don't need the regen if attacks can't hit you in the first place. For more on this, check out the video I made covering max dodge in mod detail. What do you think? Is the max regen setup worth it? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.